Next, talking points. Talking points are statements which are convincing to other people. They include accurate information, logical consistency, and an emotional appeal to their self-interest or to a moral authority that is higher than all of us. Here are some examples. Diversity in school is excellence in education. That is a talking point. Again, diversity in school is excellence in education. Here are some others. Schools should be free from prejudice and discrimination. Teachers should facilitate learning for all students, no matter how different the students are. Educational curricula should be accurate, complete, and represent everyone, not just a few. And finally, another talking point, young people should participate in the decisions that affect their lives. Write a few of your own talking points for making the case here. Talking points are especially important in individual and group situations, and here are some additional activities which you can also find as instructions or exercises that you might take, but I do want to mention them here because they are very, very important to the process. You've probably heard of this, but one is an elevator speech. An elevator speech is a one-minute speech in which you make the case. It's almost as if you're coming down in the elevator with an influential person and you have only one minute to make the case to that person. So here's how to do it. Prepare your speech so that you can speak without hesitation. Imagine that you're in an elevator and you meet a decision maker. Introduce yourself, present your idea, and make the person want to know more, all before you get to the ground floor. And as you're leaving, choose a follow-up suggestion. For example, would it be okay if I send you uh, a one-pager that summarizes our work? Always leave some homework for yourself and for the person you are trying to sensitize. And then practice, practice, practice. If you can get your case down to one minute, you have something far more powerful than if it were a lengthy statement about what people should do. Another exercise or activity, public speaking. Public meetings offer opportunities for young people to make persuasive pre presentations to community residents. There were places for presentations in ancient times of our democratic society as our city councils and school boards today. Unlike the ancients, however, today's adults often schedule meetings at times which are inaccessible to young people or follow rules that are unfriendly to them or even when they are friendly, do not take young people's opinions into account. It's no surprise when young people become frustrated and withdraw from participation in the process. We end with the importance of public speaking. If leadership is about stepping forward, then public speaking is what comes next. You have a right to speak up, and social justice depends on it. If another student makes a racist comment in class and no one speaks up, everyone else might assume that the racist comments 
are okay, which they are not. Never let a racist comment have the last word. Social justice, not prejudice and discrimination, again, should always have the last word. And speaking up is central to the process. And that ends our discussion about strategy. And again, there's organizing, planning, and strategy.